Yes, sir. And so uh, I thank him for that he loves us so much, that much that he will, he will, he'll go to any lengths to get our attention. But I just pray that if he's trying to get your attention today, whoever you are, whatever situation you are, no matter what it is, God will forgive you for anything except that unpardoned for sin, which I believe is re continually rejecting the Holy Spirit. Right? Come on, now. Come on now. That's right. Uh, and so, you know, uh, I've had people tell me, oh, God won't forgive me. I had a man in Vermont tell me he killed people in the war. God won't forgive me. I said, Mr. I don't know where you got that from. I said, I know what the Bible says. Come on, yeah, that's God, right. Yeah, God will forgive you for anything. Oh, you got to do that. Except that rejecting the Holy Spirit and rejecting yeah. Him. I said, you know, uh, God wants us to live a righteous life and not to see it. That's right. And I said, right. those sins are, if you repent, they're under the blood. You, that won't keep you out of heaven. Just, you know, Come on. You rejecting Jesus is what's going to keep you out of heaven. That's right. That's right. That's so right. I thank Him for that. That we have, all we have to do is accept Him. You know, and there's more evidence for Him than they are against us. You know, all the atheists right. about all this. Don't they come up with stuff that they make up to, to say that God don't exist? Well, they're crazy. And okay, you right. look outside. You look everywhere. That's right. You can look at me and you. God made us. What's more perfect than the Bible? Come on. They ain't and even got the, 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 the ability, for the most part, to heal itself. Yeah, that's right. That's and, right. And so there's just so many, so much evidence in every direction. I'm not a real smart person, but it's really too, too smart a person to figure that out. You know, mm -hmm. God, He's real. He's what He said He is. That's right. And I have people ask me all the time, look at Kentucky, you know, how you know the Bible's true? I said, well, challenge Him on any of His promises. And Come see on. if He don't deliver. It. That's he's right. Real. He has to. That's because right. he's God, there's none beside him. To, he, and if he don't, he would be a liar. And he ain't no liar. That's right. So he's going to deliver on what That's he right. said he was going to do. And I said, if you just challenge him and, you, and you'll have an open mind, you'll see him work. Now, I said, now, it ain't going to be every time the way that you expect it. Come on. But when he answers prayers, yes, no, and wait. Mm -hmm. Sometimes right. that waits is way hard for me. I don't know about you. Right. You yes, that. we know we like that one. But no, you know, we just have to trust God. You know. That's what God taught me when my son was killed. He said, I know, Mike, I know you don't understand it, but you're going to trust me. Right. And so it, the more I trusted you, the more I've learned to trust you. Amen. And it's just a, a growing thing. And Lord knows I'm going thousands of miles from where I need to be. But well, I think God, good. through Jesus, we're going to get there. Yeah, you know, it's good to have you, you know, playing with us. Yes, and, uh, yeah, I, I thank God, God you know, every day. You know, you know, he made a statement just a minute ago, you know, when you're talking and ask, talking to God, you know, he tells you to go into a closed room for prayer. But you also got to know how to pray. That's right. You got to be solid and steadfast on what you're th asking God for. That's right. You right. can't be asking him for forgiveness and go back and do that same sin over and over again. So that's just doing it and you're just blaspheming him. You're just slapping him in the face. Mm -hmm. You got to be straight up. You got to ask him straight up and say, God, I know that I've done wrong in life. But you know, I am sorry for what I've done, and please, Lord, take that out away from me. You know, yeah, if you don't have to take it away right. and have it steadfast in your heart, right? It ain't gonna do nothing but slap you, slap him, and it ain't gonna cause you hell and damnation. Come and on. you know, we need to put him in the home booth. You know, That's you right. know, if you put him in there, you know, you just send the devil home. <laughs> yeah, come on. You just send him on. I know what song's coming up next. <laughs> you know, <laughs> if you send him, if you send him on, no, we did. Yeah. I don't think Terry wants to do that. Oh, I wish I would. <laughs> really? Now. Yeah. yeah. We're, gonna, we're gonna put it, we're gonna put him in the phone booth. And, yeah, that's a good. You know, but, uh, yeah. Well, I tell the audience out there, if you'd like to have the Image to come and uh, perform and uh, worship with you, you know, you can get in touch with us. Uh, uh, we don't have a. a I don't have what you call a, a, a what you call them that you put on the computers. Uh, website. website. Yeah, I don't have the website yet, but uh, you know you can call us. Uh, you can call uh, Chuck Fagan over call, here. You can call me, my Pastor Chuck Fagan, eight six four five four zero two nine seven nine. Or Mike. Yeah, you can call. Well, uh, who has a Facebook account? Neither one of us has. Well, just use mine. Yeah, exactly. I got them. You okay. got a Facebook? Okay. Well, just is it Mike Tim's? Richard, uh, Rich, say Richard. Richard Timms. Yeah. And it'll be, it'll be Belton. And Belton. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then they can let you know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, or just call uh, me, 864-314-3444. Now I'm putting this on YouTube now for the video, too. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. okay. All right. We're going to put the devil in the phone booth. And y'all, hey, y'all clap your hands out there. And I tell you what, just get excited. 
Make a joyful noise with us. Tell you what, when we all get together in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and lift Him up, He said He would draw all men to Him. Thank God. Correct. Amen. You know, <clears throat> you know when you were saying that, you know, let's think about what He said in John 3 16. That's right. right. The most powerful verse in the Bible. And except everybody God. knows it. Mm -hmm. Except for God to love the world. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, He loved the world. He loved us all enough that He gave. Jesus Christ Amen. to be the That's sacrifice right. of our sin. That's right. And you know, if we don't get a walk away from temptation by putting the devil in the phone booth like we done a minute ago. Come on. If we don't walk away from the temptation of Satan and get on with our lives as Jesus Christ has told us to do, 
that when he died on the cross at Calvary up there far us. That's right. Mm -hmm. You know, he done he done the world a favor. He didn't have to give his life for us. That's right. That's he right. He did not have to give his life for us. He did not have to take come down. He sent a million he angels down called, here. He could have called ten thousand angels to bring him off that cross. That's right. And wiped the whole world totally clean. That's, That's right. a perfect example of proving love. That That's is, right. That's love personified. Right Amen. there, man. Jesus shed his blood for an old guard, dirty, rotten sinner like me. Come on. Nothing good within me except what he's put in me. That's right. That's right. Nothing he in took me. all of our guilt. He took yes. all of our shame. That's right. He took everything, you know, on yeah. his back. That's right. That is you know, correct. He, he said that, you know, he was a counselor. He's the mighty God. That's he's right. the yeah. Prince of Peace. That is correct. And, that you know, correct. anybody out there, you going through a storm in life? Think about Jesus Christ. You know, he got, can calm that storm. You know, he's got a thing called an email. That's right. Get down on them knees and ask him. That's right. If you don't get down on them knees, you ain't getting nowhere. That's that. what you're praying for. Believe in your <laughs> answer. That is right. Believe in it because you're wasting your time. And he is both. If you don't believe, he's going to answer your prayer. That's right. Because he is in some way. That's you right. Talk about that a while ago. Amen. You, you know, ask. you know, the good Lord had just laid it on my heart to do something right here at the moment. This is a song, and pardon me for interrupting, guys. Please forgive me for for I more requests. Let's do a song called Coming Home. You know, the reason why I think I'm, I want to do this song called Coming Home, you know... Because we're going home. We're all going home. You that's know, right. we are leaving this place behind. Well, that's right. You know, I am ready to go at Amen. any point in given time. That's right. He called me right now. Yes, sir! Yes. I'm ready. Come Take on. me right now. Come on. Man. And you know, let's do let's do this song called "Coming Home." All right. And uh, you know, I want to dedicate it to all the beat, the beat battered women and children out here in foster care. And, you know, and I'm gonna speak a little bit on this. You know, for just for a second. Okay. You know, with all these children, you know, they uh, they're getting beat daily. You know, you, right. got, you got kids being born of drugs. Right. And you know, they're living in malnourishment. You know, and it's. You know, God come and give. He just took a little three-year-old baby here not long ago, just a few days ago. You know? That's right. And That's you right. know, he, he's going to take all of his little ones first. Amen. And you know, I like to say that I am a child of God nowadays since I gave up my rough and ragged day, wild days. Come on. And you know, and I want to think that I want to think that the world is is also children of God. So mm -hmm. you know, but you don't be ready to go home to see Jesus Christ. That's right, amen. And so we're going to do this song called Coming Home. And uh, we hope that y'all is following with us. Okay. okay. Oh, no. Dip song. Coming home.
Oh yeah. Aren't you ready? That's I, right. I know I'm ready. Yeah. Did you like write it? that one? Yes, I did. That bird, I like that. Yes, yeah. yeah. So when, when did you write that? Well, you know, I wrote that about six months after I got back up here in Anderson. You know, I, I moved to Louisville, Georgia, and with my sister, and I put myself through all the uh, classes and all that I went through for my drug and alcohol addiction. And, and I wrote that six months. After I come back, you know, I met Terry Williamson right here, over here on 29 in a place called Praise and Worship. And that's before, long before I cut my finger off. That's the reason why I'm having hard problems making these chords on this guitar. So if it sounds bad, please forgive me. I got a default here that I can't help. You're doing good. <laughs> right. That's right. You're doing but good. That's right. That song I wrote when I come when I come back home, you know, you see, I was walking in sin, and you know, I was listening to Terry and you know, I, I even got down and started listening to Jimmy Swagger, you know. Come on. You know, and you know, he said something to me one time that touched my heart and it just brought me and he said, Well, now since you done went through rehab down here in Georgia, why don't you come back up here and visit the real world? You know, I got out of that clay and come back up here so that way I can do something good in my life. Amen. And you know, and I've started walking in since I got saved and come to ministry, you know. It's been a very, very, very challenging ordeal. You know, I go into these clubs and these night hawks every Saturday night. You know, I talk to the Lord, talk to people about the Lord in these bars. I've had knives poured on me. <laughs> I've had a few guns poured on me inside these bars. Oh, and you know, you know, beating the highways and the hedges is something we're supposed to do. We're supposed to bring them home. That's right. If we don't go out here and plant right. this seed. We ain't doing nothing but beating ourselves on the ground, you know. And that's the reason why I wrote Coming Home, because I want them to come home with me when I go. Amen. I don't want them to go to hell. And that's Amen. the reason why I wrote this song. That's perfect. That's a good song. Yeah, it was. When I met Chuck, you know, he was, like I said, you know, he was, uh, uh, he had a rough, rough character, you know, behind him. But uh, I stayed around, you know, and been a good friend to him. and. Uh, held him up. Uh, there was times, you know, he was, uh, uh, the devil was really hitting him hard. And, uh, but I was there, you know, to stand in the gap and try to lift him up and encourage him. And that's what we all have to do, Brother Mike. We have to lift each other up. We have to encourage each other because the trials are so heavy here on this earth. That's right. And, uh, but you know, this song that I wrote, <clears throat> I wrote this song here about maybe uh, two months ago, and uh, I was sitting at the house and uh, just meditating on the word, and uh, I was listening to some ministers on the on the gospel on channel 16, and uh, they were talking about heaven, and uh, said that you know our minds couldn't comprehend what heaven was going to be like, and uh, and even the Bible says eye has never seen or ear has never heard. Or has it ever entered into the heart of man of what God has got prepared for you and I? You know, they say heaven is 1,500 miles uh, all four, four corners. There are going to be 12 foundations. I mean, it's, it's going to be a place, walls of uh, jasper, gates of pearl, street of gold, the river of life, the tree of life. And you know what's good about it, folks? There won't be no more sickness there. Amen. That's right. There won't be no heartaches, Jimmy. <laughs> there won't be no troubles up there. Satan won't be there to bother us. Amen. You was uh, you was saying a little while ago, you know that, uh, you know you wish God would just get rid of the old slew foot. Well, one day, old John saw that new Jerusalem coming down, and so one day, hey, old slew foot's gonna be gone forever. That's right, amen. And we're yeah. gonna have life everlasting. But this song here, it says it's called heaven, and I hope it'll bless your heart. <laughs>
That's right. Walls and Jasper. That's right. And even you know that you know that I understand that he's gonna be benches made of pearl up there. Right? Yeah, he's gone. And the Crystal River, you know, and I'm a big hunting fishing man. Oh, oh, Lord, you know that Crystal River. I am ready to go out here and catch. A few extra fish and have Jesus right there with me. Come on, that's right. You know, he that's said, right. he, you know, when they were walking the water, you know, he said, I'm going to make you a fisherman. It's going to be a little easier to catch up first. That's oh, yeah. right. <laughs> yeah. He's going to make, go. make me a fisherman oh. a man instead of a fisherman at sea. That's but right. now when I get up there, I ain't got to worry about the man. Yeah. I'm going to catch them great big largemouth bass that these little things we got down here. I don't know about y'all. Uh, <laughs> but... They're gonna be heavenly fish. That's right. They're gonna be. They're gonna be. It's gonna be. It, it's gonna be manna food. It's gonna be food hey, that you'll never. Water, water into the boat. That's, That's right. So you'll never. Water. You'll never hunger up there. That's, That's what right. I like about yeah. it. You know. Yeah. You'll never thirst again. Thank God. That is correct. You know. Do you love hearing them angels sing? You know, I hear them singing all the time when I hear the birds whispering in the air and the wind blowing. Do you? Do you? Yeah. Do you like to hear the angels sing? Oh yeah. oh, yeah. You know, it's such a sweet and heavenly sound. That's right. You know, just listen to God whisper to your heart, you know. Mm -hmm. you, don't, you, don't, you don't need His ears for him to, for you to hear Him. Come on. All you need is your open heart. That's right. You know, and I love to hear it and how the angels and God just whisper at, just a, at the right time in your life. That's right. Amen. Amen. And you know... And you're going to do that song that yeah. you wrote? Yeah, I'm going to do about another song angels. that I write. Yeah. wrote here just a while back. You know, yeah. it ain't been not even a year ago. I was laying in my bed, you know, thinking about some things that I've just watched on TV here. And it just broke my heart. And then God was just pricking my heart and just saying, Chuck, just listen closely. This is what this is what you're going to hear. All right. And so then I wrote a song called Angel Singing here just a while back. And, you know, I dedicate it to the church and I dedicate it to the world. Right, right. Yeah. Well, uh, I'm so glad that you're doing these songs on camera because if you ain't got them copyrighted, we got them copyrighted today. That's right. Hey, so, yes, we so I bet you don't have them copyrighted, do you? Um, yeah. Not yet, I have them. Well, they are now. That's <laughs> good. <laughs> the whole world the know that you owe That's right. Uh -huh. Amen. There you go. That's right. Let somebody come up with a previous date that done it. That's right. I won't see it. Come on. That's anyway, right. That's right. What you got next? Yeah, we're going to do angel sing, but if y'all don't mind, I'm going to have to take about a five minute break. If we'll it's if possible. So let's yeah. take about a five minute take break. Take about a five minute break. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back. Don't go away. Don't turn that dial. <laughs> you stay where you at. Yes, and we'll be right back. Time, same bad there you go. Good. That's enough. right. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. All right, take a pause. Right. I think that sounds good so far, y'all. Okay, good. I mean, what we doing live? Hey, yeah. What, I'm glad you're doing this. I really am. Yeah, it's live. Yeah. Once, once we throw the bass in there, you know, mm -hmm. it's going to sound good. Yeah. Throw a little piano, a little orchestra. There you go. Yeah. Put that yeah. uh, all that in there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, man. So everything sounding good from your end? From what I can tell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Okay. Uh, good. But so far, we've got about six songs, haven't we? Yeah, we do. Six, seven songs. Yeah, all you need about three more, and you got you got ten. ten. Yeah, we got ten. That'd but, be uh, it. But uh, what people's gonna really like is uh, all this testimonial stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the, what what y'all can do is just anybody that's not saved don't know how to get saved. Tell them yeah. how to do it. Okay. Well, Take we'll try out. to do our last, you know, our last song. Yeah. I'll try to do. Uh, I I'll probably do help me. All right. And then that way Chuck can hey, talk. Phil. Chuck can talk while I'm while I'm doing that, right. and he can he can say you know if you need help tonight, you need the Lord, or what you know whatever the day or something you know if you need God you know all you got to do is call. Yeah. Just to tell them, you know, you get out to me. This is what you know. Tell them what to there say. There you go. There you go. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'm glad you got this, buddy. I tell you, that's, all right. That's neat. All right. Let me pause this. Okay. Point. Oh, 